All right, this is Logators, and I'm going to play a Kerbal Space Program. Now, I haven't really played this much. I just got it recently. Don't really know anything about the mechanics, so I played the tutorials a little bit here. Um, just the first couple, uh, construction, flight basics, orbiting, that kind of thing. Um, other than that, I have not played this game at all, so let's put my name in and pick a flag. Uh, some of these are interesting, like the capsule. Uh, probably doesn't really matter that much, but kind of like th this thing, so I'll choose that. Now, looking at what we got here, let's see, we have space plane hangar, vehicle assembly building, uh, launch pad, with a couple things already stocked, I see, all right. Don't want to mess with those, that's not fun. And go over to the tracking station, because I want to see what's out there. Uh, two moons. Alright, that's interesting. Uh, I change all the names, okay. Let's see the second moon. Hmm. Nice and cratered and craggly looking. I bet that's fun to play on. And looking out at the solar system, let's see we have... Uh, the inner plan is kind of eccentric. That's cool. Uh, we got some sort of Mars clone out here, a Venus clone, Mercury clone. I guess that's a Jupiter clone, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune get no love. And then I guess that's a Pluto like object. It's not a planet. I can't call it a planet. It's too small. Alright. Well, that's fun. Let's go back. And start building a vehicle. Just come and go over here and look at all the capsules. And command pod. Uh, these are all probes. Don't really mess with those. Uh, this is like cockpits, I guess, for space planes. Uh, let me read this. Looks like it's for a orbital station. I'm not doing that right now. A um, couple of lander cans for landing. And we have two different pods here. Kind of want to do the three person one, but it's got a mass of four, whereas this is mass of eight. So I'm going to choose the lighter one because I know that's going to be easier to put it into orbit. Uh, let's see, looking along the top here of this thing, got propulsion, uh, control, structure, arrow. Okay. Nose cones if I need them. Uh, utility, it's in here. Batteries, electric, uh, electric shit. Uh, what else we got? Hmm. Landing things that I'm sure will become useful later on. Uh, parachute's definitely useful, but that one is way too big. Let's see. That one looks like it fits, so I'm going to assume that parachute goes with that capsule. And then look at the final tab. We have science. Let's put an antenna on there so they can talk to the ground. Let's just stick it on. Although I'm pretty sure that'll burn up in re-entry. If this game has burning up. I hope it does. Alright, look at the structure and control. Uh, oh really see anything I want to mess with right now. Uh, let's just put a fuel tank on for starters. But that one is way too big. Still too big. Uh, this one is... This one looks tiny. Let's see how big this one is. Yeah, too small. Uh, it's a weird shape. Probably for a space plane or something. Uh, no. Alright. Solid rocket booster. This is obviously not a good rocket design, but I just want to see what it's like to launch something. Okay. Get on our launch pad. And from the tutorial, I know I need to throttle up. And then hit space. And I will... Oh! Shoot. Um... 
Oops. That's not good. So the parachute opened right away. Uh, I don't know why that happened. I have to figure out how to how to set up the staging and stuff. All right, let's go back. Well, first of all, let's see if we can create a a realistic rocket and put some liquid fuel tanks on here. All right. This one looks good. And it's the same size, which I assume it means it fits this thing. Oh, nope, that one is too big. Um, that one's the right size, but looks like it's a smaller version. Put one on there anyway. That's about the same size as the rocket I had before. One more for good measure. And let's look at the kind of, oh yeah. Aerospike. Sweet. All right. Now to figure out. Okay. So, looks like in the lower right, I have these two uh, staging things. And I can drag them around. So, all right. Back to the launch pad. Throttle up. Press space. And, ah, much better. We have liftoff. Okay. Looking pretty good. I like how it's glowing red. Mm, I'm getting off course. Uh, no, I want to fix that. No, getting way off course. Okay, this is pretty bad. Let's see if I can fix this. Um, trying real hard right now just to stay alive myself with the uh, WASD controls. Uh, not working too well, as you can tell. Um, kind of totally out of control and but my guy is just like totally happy smiling I would not do that if I were him ah uh, shoot yeah this is not going to end well alright well saw that coming Sorry, little Kerbal dude. You are dead. Let's see if we can't save the next one. I'm going to get rid of that and see if I can get a different engine on there. I think I saw some with thrust vectoring. Yeah. So. Nope, that one's too big. Too small. But that's thrust vectoring. Um... This one also has thrust vectoring. Uh, but I think I want to go for just standard rocket on the bottom. This one does not have thrust vectoring. That was a problem. So I'm going to go with this. Uh, 215 power, 200 power. That's not that much loss in power. All right, I'm going to go with this. And once again, I'm going to mess with the staging down here. Drag the rocket over. And let's see if I can launch. Throttle up. And space bar. All right, launch is the same as the other one. But... I can definitely control it more, keeping the uh, reticle down at the bottom straight on 90 degrees up. Seeing nothing but blue, that's good. Definitely much easier to move it around, spin it around, that kind of thing. All right. And I'm just going to see how high I can get. It's a cool little view right here. I'm going to turn it a little bit. And come on, get back on center. Okay, there we go. 
I'm approaching the uh, 10 kilometer mark. I think I'm going to start a turn a little bit here. See if I can get into orbit. And ah, my little guy's not happy right now. I'm about three quarters of the way through my fuel. Just plugging along here. I'm at thirty five thousand feet. Or meters, sorry. 40 kilometers up. 50 kilometers. Oops. Uh, sorry, I clicked out of the screen there for a second. But we're back. 60 kilometers. 70, and I'm out of fuel. Now, how do I detach the rockets. No. No. Trying to uh, docking. I don't know how to detach the rocket. I do know how to bring up the map. And as you can see, I'm just going to start flying out to the middle of nowhere and then crash straight back down. Uh, generally, that's a bad idea to do it this way. But who cares? Still trying to figure out how to get this rocket separated. But, oh well, I'll speed up time. Try a couple more different things here. I don't know, I don't see any buttons to separate it. But I'm at 400 kilometers up almost. I'm just sitting here playing with the staging thing, trying to... I don't want to click the parachute because I'm afraid it'll deploy. That won't be any good. But at the same time, I don't know how to get rid of the rocket I have here. And... If re-entry is anything like an actual re-entry, then this little guy is doomed. Oh well, let's just speed it up and see what happens. I give up. I'll look into it later. And coming back in. Nice blazing 2,000 meters per second. And there's entry into the atmosphere. Uh, I'm expecting to blow up and oh nope I did not blow up hmm yeah I would have expected to blow up there uh, maybe maybe it's just graphical maybe it's uh, not implemented in the game yet but oh well let's just deploy the parachute and see what happens I'll be surprised if a parachute can lift this entire rocket to the ground but it's possible. Who knows? Alright, parachute open. Is not torn away. I'm very surprised. Maybe parachutes just have infinite uh, strength and they don't get torn away. Oh, well, let's speed it up. See what happens when I touch down. Ooh! Explosions. <laughs> but I'm still alive. All right. Jump out by clicking on this picture. Oh, that's interesting. All right. Well, I call that a successful mission. So playthrough number one is a success. I'll have to look up how to stage rockets and detach them later on.